So can you make your own 120 gigabyte external SSD drive for under 28 bucks? Let's find out. So if you know my channel, you know I go out and try to find the best deals online, so this is no different. So what I did is I tried to find, could I build an external SSD drive for my Mac or for my PC that's 120 gigs and you know basically under 28 bucks, is it possible? I found out it is and I'm going to go ahead and show you today what I did. So here's the enclosure I bought, it's a Sabrent and the model number is actually going to be ECUASP, you can pick it up at Amazon. And it does feature tool-free design, and it comes with a plug-and-play. Obviously, it's very easy to set up. I'm going to go through that in a second with you, but we'll show you a little bit more about this in a second. The drive is actually going to be the Ace A55 from Silicon Power, or SP. This is a 128 gig uh, SSD drive that you can get, and it works with PC and Mac. It's a pretty good setup. Here's the back of the case if you want to take a look at that, but it's, it's pretty good and it's pretty cheap. I'll show you. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and take these, I'm going to go ahead and build them out, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of tests on my computer behind me really quickly and show you how fast it is, and then show you the final pricing. So is it possible to get a pretty good external SSD drive for under 28 bucks? It's 120 gigs. You can get a little bit bigger just for a few dollars more, so you can follow the same steps. I'll have all the stuff in the descriptions. Let's get into it, let's build it, and let's see what happens. How fast is it? So here's the drive itself. The model number is the Ace A55. It's 120 gigabytes. It's pretty plastically when you actually feel it, you know, in your hand. It's made of plastic, so it's not the best quality. Um, it says it gets 550 megabytes per second on the reads and around 420 on the writes. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to test that in a second. But I just wanted to show people, you know, what the drive looks like. It's pretty inexpensive, pretty cheap. You can see, you know, very cheap plastic. But again, it was $20, so what do you expect? It does have really good ratings on Amazon. The actual enclosure itself too is pretty plasticky as well. It's only about eight or nine dollars. So this one's actually called the, the Sabrent and it's the model EC-UASP. It's for PC and Mac and uh, it says it has USB 3.0 and if you look at the cable here it's going to have you know you just, the type A basically on both sides of it. I'll put that there just for a second. So it's not going to have USB-C. It's basically the type A on both sides and it says it's USB 3. But I mean so the cable basically if you can see that is right in there. But as far as the unit itself it is made out of some kind of a plastic. It's not the best and it does have if you can get a little bit away from this it has like an on and off button on there which I'm going to discover what that means. I think you can obviously turn it on and off. I'm not sure why. And uh, we'll go ahead and see though. It is you know it's, it's, it's powered by its own. It doesn't have like a power supply or anything like that. So at the of the day let's go ahead and test this out let's go ahead and build it once you open up the external ssd drive this is all you get it's just a piece of plastic with a connector it's got the other side and it had a little piece of plastic in here i'm not sure what this is for maybe just to protect it while it's in transport but in any case it's very very cheap but again let's see what this does it's got the uh you know eh, you know it's plastic just like anything else would be i'm not going to you know beat it up too much it's not metal though what do you expect for the money but there it is that's the inside of the unit after I seated the hard drive, you can see how it looks here. So it just slides in. You basically slide it right in. You push it down, slide it into that little connector, and you're all set. And then you basically just snap the, the top back on. And then we'll go ahead and try this on the Mac and see what kind of speeds we get. Now I have the whole system connected. The drive's in there. Weighs a little bit heavier. It doesn't feel as cheap. And let's go ahead and give that a shot. All right, once you actually plug the disk in, you might get a message, you may not, but I want to go ahead and just show you what you want to do. You want to go to Launchpad here. And inside of here, you know, it's always inside other. You want to go to disk utility, so click on that. So in here, you're going to see Sabrent Media. That's actually the, the enclosure's name. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to see that it does say 128 gigabytes. Now, it says uninitialized, so we're going to go ahead and initialize that. So make sure you're on the right drive. Again, I tell millions of people this. If you pick the wrong drive, you're going to erase all of your data. So make sure you pick <laughs> the right drive here no matter what that's a disclaimer don't do this if you don't know what you're doing but I'm going to click pick Sabrent Media here I'm going to go up to erase click on that and I'm going to call it now I'm going to call it the same thing just because I know what that means so I'm going to name it that inside of the format I'm going to go ahead and I can do um, I'm going to do let me see here going to go ahead and do its stuff. It should take just a couple seconds here. And then basically it's going to erase everything and kind of reformat everything like it's doing. It's going to ask me, do you want to use as a backup disk? I'm going to say do not use. 
And then, you know, obviously it's unmounting the volumes now as we go through this. So let's just give this a second to, to you know, fix the drive for us. Now it's done. So we're going to click done here. And uh, let's go now click on the Sabrian drive because it actually defaulted to something else. But you can see right here now it says it's 127.83 gigabytes. And uh, it says, you know, 897 kilobytes used. So here it is. It's all done. I have it named. Um, formatted and let's go ahead and test on a speed test. All right, so let's go do a speed test on this. Let's go ahead and open up Black Magic. That's something that I downloaded for free and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So what, what you want to do is you want to click on this little icon here, click select target drive and I want to make sure I'm clicking the Sabrent drive over here, not my normal you know drive that's on my computer but I want to do the, the one we just set up. Then I want to click open and then I'm going to go ahead and click speed test start here and we'll see what the right is. The writes are about 387 on the writes, and then the reads are about 390, 390.7. So not as fast as we thought, but they're still up there. I'll have links in my description to all these, but I wanted to show everyone really quickly on Amazon. Here is the Sabrent. You can see it's $8.99 only. It's got over 12,000 you know, people have rated it, a 4.5 out of 5, so they, they give it a really good rating. And then if you go over to the next one, which is the Silicon Power hard drive here, it's 128 gig SSD, $17.99 only. And again, it's Amazon Choice right there. 625 people have rated it a 4.6 out of 5. So both you know, high ratings on this stuff and both very inexpensive, under 28 bucks total. It's pretty amazing the times we live in right now. I mean, I can remember maybe 10 years ago, five years ago or so, 120 gig hard drive was a couple hundred bucks. The enclosure might be 50 or 60. You're talking maybe three or four hundred dollars. Now you can do it for 27, 28 bucks, somewhere in that range. And it runs pretty good, as you can see. I mean, it's got good throughput. You can use it for file transfers, video editing, things like that, if you're kind of traveling around. So, you know, time will tell how, how long it lasts, you know, but it does have really good ratings. As you I showed you on Amazon, I show you the costs of everything. So, you know, this channel is all about that. Go ahead and, you know, get, get working on computers. Just try different things and see, you know, if you like it. You don't always have to buy something that's pre-made. Sometimes when you buy them and make them yourself, they actually turn out a little bit better. They last longer because they're not going through kind of a, a price savings type thing. I mean, they are because you're buying cheap stuff, but you at least know the quality that's going into building it. Um, you did it yourself. So I always recommend kind of doing this kind of experiment and seeing what you can build and buy and all that kind of stuff. Just have fun with technology. So. At the end of the day, you guys know my channel, and I do a lot of stuff on Apple, as you can see, and then I also do PC over here, so it's all over the board for me. Just, you know, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel, help me out, hit the like button, and I will see you guys, you know, in a couple days. I mean, I make a video every couple days, so please support the channel. I basically do it for free. I just like to make them, and it's, a, you know, one of my, one of my hobbies, I guess you'd say, in life. Thanks.